This is kind of the last bit of review for this course. We'll move into new topics starting next week. But for momentum, the conservation momentum statement states the initial plus change equals final. And the thing with momentum is these are all vector quantities. So when it's vector quantities, then we can, again, break it down into our i and j component in two dimensions which allows us to solve for two different unknowns, which often ends up being the two components of some final velocity. Additionally, we have here a case of a completely inelastic collision because the hawk catches the dove. So afterwards, the before picture is already drawn for us, but afterwards, the hawk and dove get stuck together and they move off with a certain velocity. Let's keep our lives easier and use our standard x and y. And then we're going to assume, we don't know, it's likely not, we're going to assume, just to make the math easy, that the final velocity has a positive x and a positive y component. So we can call that v2x and v2y. That way, as we work through our math, if we get a negative, we know it points the other way, just so we don't keep track of ahead that we already said it was negative. This is a case of a collision because throughout the motion, even though gravity acts on both of these birds, the actual impact and collision happen in such a short time that gravity is not going to have a big effect on the momentum of the system because the time is so short. The forces between the bodies have a much bigger effect, but they are not external forces because we're considering both the hawk and the dove as part of our system. So this external thing gets to zero and so just like any other collision the initial system momentum and the final system momentum remains the same. So as typical then we would write out my i and j component lines for your momentum equation. So for the hawk I'm going to use slightly different subscript from them. The velocity of the hawk at time one, but just the x component. So we have a cosine 35 degrees and the dove completely goes in the positive x direction. There's no decomposing needed there. After the collision, the hawk is holding on to the dove. So they travel at the same speed. And so we can consider them as one body with a combined mass of mh plus md. The velocity is the horizontal component of that final velocity, so we label it v2x. For the j, very similar. In this case, the dove has no vertical component of the velocity and therefore momentum. And we can use that to solve for v2y. So let's do that. Punch in some numbers, get some answers. positive, so to the right, no surprise there. V2y, very similar. If anything, even simpler than the other one. Showing negative, so therefore goes downwards. So the final velocity, I'm can just use my i and j components to uniquely specify my vector while defining for people what my x and y is defined to be and so it'll be somewhere in that direction. We could put it together with Pythagoras but that's not necessary. Quick simple review of a 2D momentum problem. 